clicked on this video because you want your pretty box splits or middle splits and you want it fast. Sorry to have fooled you maybe again because I did the same thing for my split video. It's not possible to get some really extreme position fast. Of course I'm going to go through all the exercises that will make it much easier for you to get the middle splits and will also strengthen your hip flexors and your turnout, especially the turnout for your middle splits. But if you're not doing them every day or you're not actually that dedicated to it, you won't be getting it fast at all. Either you do it every day and you dedicate yourself and you will be getting they're closer and closer, but it won't come like that. The same as if you're on a diet and you won't lose fat like that. It just doesn't work. I just wanted to like do this again because I kind of get annoyed by like videos that say get this fast and then it's just a normal video. Like If you don't commit to it, you won't get the results either. So Also, I feel like it's not really about getting your middle splits or box splits. That's the goal for you, but these stretches are more about, or it should be more about just stretching in general, just getting more flexible in general, not just so you can do the nice splits. I mean, of course you want that, but on the, at the same time, you're actually getting much more flexibility everywhere else, and that's what you should focus on more, because just sitting in that split position won't give you the range of flexibility that you can get from other stretches. I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and join me on the mat. We will start with a deep segment plie. Yeah, important here is being um, turned out and having this parallel. This in a 90 degree angle. You can go lower if you want to, but you also want to strengthen your muscles. Though on the side, it looks like this. Use your hands to push out your knees a little bit. And now go into a lunge really quickly though because we're going to twist it into a frontal lunge. Here it's important that this knee is not over your toe. You almost sit down, you can flex, you can stretch, and then push up go to the side. Do the same thing. Also use your elbow to push out your knee. So you get the turnout that you need, which you can do here too. Yep. Just stretch that out. We'll go into the butterfly stretch. Have your feet as close as possible to your body. Switch up and over. Trying to push your knees into the floor, having your heels and your toes together and lengthening forward. You can feel it here. Now you will contract so your head will almost touch your toes. Like so and then you will lengthen your back straight and go up. So contract, lengthen and up, contract, lengthen and up. Two more. So get your uh, hips a bit closer to your heels and lie down while you put your hands up top. You just lie there for some time. In, in fitness class we sometimes lie like this for 10 minutes. Because I'm quite turned out, I don't really feel it, but I know that it helps a lot of other people. Push yourself up. We will cross our legs like so when you used to be a child walking around like this. <laughs> but we're gonna use this now to just help us with a stretch. Just stretch forward and lengthen. Like 
Also try to keep your glutes glued to the floor because that will give you a deeper stretch. So you don't push up as much. And up. Also stretch up if you want to. And detangle yourself. And we will go into the frog stretch. So with the frog stretch, you use your own body weight to force more turnout, which helps a lot with the box splits because that's where you need your turnout. Basically, start like this, and you slide into it. You can't have your legs um, in a 90 degree angle for now. You see that gap? The goal is to not have that. Just like lie flat. Just being in this position is very helpful. You can also stretch back a little bit. I'm going to turn so you can see more. Now we're going to lie flat like this. And you can get your feet together. Using your own body weight to also push your, yourself a bit further down. That's how you train your turnout basically to increase it because I know that a lot of people uh, struggle with that, but if you do that a lot, it should help. You can also use a chair. So let me demonstrate. You can put one leg on the chair only if you're like ready for this. Please don't overdo anything. If you're not touching the floor yet, don't do it. Okay? So place your leg, your knee facing that way, and just slide into this position. You can see? And then just lowering yourself. This is like over splits for the turnout. Guess. Right, so you just be careful with it though. Don't overdo it. Because over splits is always a bit like, hmm, you know. I'm gonna face this way so you can see what I'm doing. Get your feet up, like so. Turn them out and let them fall to the floor. And try to touch the floor with your toes. If I flex them, I touch the floor. If I stretch them, I don't. So I do flex them. But it's the same thing, actually. Uh, it, it does stretch your hamstrings a bit, though. Using your own arms to um, get them closer to the floor. Okay, don't bounce them like that, please. That actually can cause damage. And what you can do, it also strengthens the inner thighs. You just open and close them, like so. And we're already a bit closer. So your legs are super heavy, so you can actually take advantage of that. You just drop them and they fall to the floor. Don't swing them too much. But yeah, using your own weight again. Okay, I think we're ready for the box splits. There's middle splits and there are box splits. Um, I think also straddle splits you call them. So sit into it, now contract and release. And now we will do a flat back forward as far as you can. Uh, for me to perform this, I'm not going to be in super straight splits, so I can actually use my inner thighs more. So you want to like be flat and then come back up. 
go around like this. This mat is a bit annoying. And flat back. And release down. Go onto your elbows, keeping your um, feet pointed upwards. Contract and stretch forward. Contract, stretch forward. Contract, stretch forward. Always trying to be a bit closer to the floor until we can lie on the floor. These are middle splits. The box splits are the position going over top. Like so, and lying into that. That's what the sprog stretch is for. These are your middle split and box split stretches. I hope they will help you. I, I know that at first it looks impossible to do. If you are here, just keep going because there will come a time where you will get better at it. Like, if you do it, you will get better. There's no getting better without doing it. So take your time with it. Be, be aware of what hurts, what doesn't, if it's good pain, if it's bad pain you will notice the difference. So don't push too hard, but still challenge yourself a little bit though. That's my advice for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. And I'll see you next time. Bye. If you want to, bring your hands up and lower your entire body over your leg.